This portion of Fox 28 News is brought to you in partnership with Sheriff Goslin Roofing. Quality roofing since 1906. Out in your backyard this weekend, chances are you'll see dozens of planes diving, looping, and barrel rolling in the friendly skies of Michigan. Well, the air show of Warsaw kicks off tomorrow, and even spectators can take to the skies in hot air balloons and helicopter rides. Most of the planes are from the pre- and post-World War II era. There was a lot of drive by manufacturers to compete in the wars. Uh, you know, we had World War II, and then we got into the Korean War, and there was a lot of different companies bidding for those military and government contracts. Uh, last year, the air show brought in a crowd of 7,000 people. This year, they're expecting at least 10,000. Well, it's been a while since she's done one, but well, now she has a sidekick. Fox 28's ride along reporter, Farron Franzek, she's really earned that <laughs> title, hasn't she? Along with photojournalist Tom Shaw, took to the skies today, thanks to some veteran pilots at the Warsaw Airport. This is something that you learn like driving a car. Paul Grossnickel first flew a 1943 Boeing Stearman just like this during World War II in the Pacific. He just seemed to never forget it. With the air show Warsaw kicking off this weekend, myself and photojournalist Tom Shaw thought, why not live out our dreams of being a glamorous fighter pilot? Well, for me, just the glamorous part. But for Tom, he wanted to give us his best Tom Cruise. So it's this guy, Al Hoover, who was our pilot. I was in the military for 24 years as a fighter pilot, test pilot. I flew uh, F-106s, F-16s. I flew with Chuck Yeager as a test pilot. I flew for NASA. His resume seemed pretty legit, so naturally I had to go first. Now my morning anchor, Steve Duval, challenged me. Farron, when you're up there, ask him to do a hammerhead. You will thank me later. Uh-oh. Not happening. Oh, come on. <laughs> I've done it. I said no flips. I said no flips. Well, Just a, a, a hammerhead is not it. a flip. Talk to him about it. You'll love it. Right now, it looks like I'd be driving the plane, but that's not what's happening. I'm actually the goose of this operation. You're the maverick, right, Al? <laughs> uh, I'm maverick. That's right. So up, up, and away we go. Remember when I said no flips? Yeah, Al figured it was easier to say sorry than ask for permission. This is a hammerhead. You can't hear me, but I'm pretty sure the entire town of Warsaw and maybe four counties over heard me screaming. I just remember seeing sky, earth, and I was like, something ain't right. So Steve Duval, you're dead. Up next, the daredevil, adrenaline junkie, Tom Shaw. This time, I taped him flying from the inside of a helicopter. Now, unlike me, Tom wanted every loop-de-loop barrel roll and nosedive you could get. And after taking a beating in the sky, this guy was still ready for more action. One of the signature landings of the 1943 fighter planes, the 360. Flying in from Warsaw Airport, this mission was accomplished. With Tom Shaw, I'm Farron Franzak, Fox 28 News. Oh my gosh, you gotta love her. Oh, how, how fun is that? <laughs> they, they had a blast. And, you know, if I remember correctly, Farron, Steve, when he did the hammerhead, was a little nauseous, just hmm. so you know. So he's telling her to do something that made him <laughs> sick. Come on, Steve. Nice guy. <laughs> in case you're wondering, the air show in Warsaw is free this weekend. We're not sure, though, if there's gonna be any hair flips with uh, exactly. Tom and Farron. <laughs> you can visit Farron and her hair flip and Tom's story <laughs> on Fox28.com for more details on the weekend's events. And I really think I just really messed up my hair, Farron. No, Thanks. it was really good. <laughs>